Look, some people are meant to be in your life. They were born to be in your life, deep divers. It's like when the universe made you, it made them at the same time. You go together like Bonnie and Clyde. You go together like water and dolphins, okay? <laughs> and some people, you might be with someone right now and you're like, something feels off, Ralph. Something feels like I shouldn't be with this person. They got to go. They got to go. They got to go. They ain't got to go home, but they got to get the hell out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Peace. Infinite waters diving deep once again. Beautiful deep divers. We are out here in the mysterious art gallery. I'm just... Woo! Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Sending you tons of good ass energy today, deep divers. Take that, take that, take that. Instantly tell if someone's meant to be in your life. How do we know? You might be with someone right now, and some days it feels right, then other days it feels wrong. You're scratching your head. You're tossing and turning in bed like, what have I gotten myself into? Then the next day you're like, oh, it's beautiful again. <laughs> How do we know if someone is truly meant to be in our life? Deep divers, we got a whole lot to talk about. It reminds me of a song I once heard and it goes a little something like this. Maybe they're the one, or maybe they're not. But please, can someone get me some breakfast while I think about it? Because we ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello? <laughs> Deep divers, the cat down the road loves you. <laughs> Instantly tell if someone's meant to be in your life. Many times we're with someone and it's going good, but then a thought, a thought pops into our head like, wait a minute, what on earth am I getting myself into? Wait a minute, something feels off. How do we know, deep divers? Let me give you everything that's helped me along my journey to tell if someone's truly meant to be in my life. It starts with this, deep divers. It starts with this, plain and simple. If you can say, wait a minute, since I've been around this person, I'm younger, look at my face glowing. I'm happier, I'm smiling for a change. I feel good about me. Okay, they're a keeper. But if you've gotten with someone and you're worse off emotionally, physically, you're picking up all of their bad habits. Look at you. You used to go for a run at six o'clock in the morning. Now you sleep until three. Oh my gosh. What are we going to do about that? <laughs> Ask yourself, since you've been with this person, have you picked up bad habits or good ones? Have you made good lifestyle changes or worse ones? You see, it's got everything to do in your habits. Are you forming better habits? Are you forming a better relationship with yourself? Or are you with someone who is helping you not love yourself enough? Because they're like, hey, you don't look good enough today. Hey, Take that off. Wear that instead. They're always judging you. They want to change you into something else that you're not. Deep divers, that's how to know they're not meant to be here. But if they can accept you for you, while at the same time telling you the truth about things and situations, then they're meant to be in your life. I want to remind you of this. Every single day, 
when we talk about relationships, when we talk about love, because it's the love season, deep divers. Have you heard the saying, if someone is gossiping to you about someone else, they're probably gossiping to someone else about you behind your back. Well, that's how it is in relationships. If you are with someone who's already in a committed relationship, ladies, fellas, they're probably doing the same thing with you. Yeah, they are. <laughs> and they'll probably do the same thing with you if you are their main relationship. You see, that's how to tell if someone's truly meant to be in your life. Look at the way they treat other people. Just a suggestion. <laughs> Learning. Let's talk about it, deep divers. To tell if someone's truly meant to be in your life. Learning. What have you learned from this being? Have you learned anything in particular? Like, have they helped you learn about yourself? Have they broadened your knowledge? Or when you're around them, you get more dumb. They dumb you down. They dim your light. <laughs> Learning. If you can expand with someone, if you can grow, the potential to grow, that's how to know if someone's truly meant to be in your life. You're like, hey, since I'm with you, I can grow. Since I've been with you, I'm growing beyond measure. If you're with someone and they're stunting your growth, they're pulling you back. They're like, hey, don't do that. It's not going to work. They're instilling fear in you. They ain't got to go home, but they got to get the hell out of here. Deep divers. <laughs> To tell if someone's truly meant to be in your life, evolution. I always say this, if you're not helping me evolve, you're a distraction. Mm. What? Slow motion this side. Mm. If you can evolve with someone, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, they're meant to be in your life. If you can't evolve with this person, if they're taking you back to the stone age, they got to go. They got to go. They got to go. <laughs> to tell if someone's truly meant to be in your life, deep divers, I always say this. Some people are only around to celebrate your success, but they are not there. They are not there in the training camp. What? Some people just want to celebrate because you've made it, but they never helped you make it. I always know this. I always choose someone who's a day one, who's been with me from the start. That's how I can tell they're meant to be in my life because they've earned my respect by being with me on the battlefield, by being with me in the storm, not just the sunshine, by being with me in the hurricane, not just when everything is all peaches and cream. You see, everyone wants to be around you when you got lots of money, when you got millions of subscribers, right? But what happens when you lose all of that? Uh-oh. What happens when you're in an accident, you're injured? Would they be by your bedside? Where'd they go? They're not meant to be in your life because they're only there. They have an ulterior motive, deep divers. They're only there to drain your pockets out. Goodness gracious. Get rid of them. <laughs> But if you are with someone who loves you, the essence of you, not just everything you have accumulated in this matrix, they actually love your heart. They actually accept it. Then they're a keeper. Oh, we're keeping that one. Deep divers, how to tell instantly if someone's truly meant to be in your life. Are they happy for your success? Are they happy when something good happens for you? When something good happens to you? Or are they like a secret hater? Do you know that many people you're in a relationship with do not have your best interest at hand? And that's not a relationship. That's a competition of who can outdo the other one. It's ego-based. 
And if you are in your heart space, you don't want to be around someone in their ego 24-7. So they got to go, they got to go, they got to go. Right? But if someone is truly happy for you, genuinely happy for you, it's not about what they can get from you, but what they can give to you. Then that's how to know they're truly meant to be in your life. If you are with someone who has fallen in love with your heart before they've actually seen your body, oh, baby, they're meant to be in your life. But if someone only likes the way you look, ladies, fellas, only your appearance, only your backside, that's it. That's a bit shallow because your body is going to change. Yeah, it is. You ain't going to look like that in 40 years. You're going to look a lot prettier. <laughs> your body is going to change. But if they only liked you for your body, when the going gets tough, pew, it's the road runner time. They're nowhere to be seen. Instantly tell if someone's meant to be in your life, deep divers with this. If you don't have to force them to be there, they choose to be there. They want to be there. It's a privilege to be with you, not a burden. That's how to know they're meant to be in your life when you don't force them to be there. It's a natural flow. It's a natural coming together. No manipulation. No tricks, no games, no lies. It's honesty, it's transparency. It's the heart connection. Deep divers. You know someone is truly meant to be there when there is a beautiful synchronicity between both of you. You finish each other's sentences. Oh my gosh, jinx, we said the same word at the same time. Isn't it so lovely? Yes, it is. That's how to know. They're meant to be in your life. Because both of you are connected on all levels. Mental, physical, emotional, spiritual. It's a harmony. I always tell you this. I don't beg anybody to stay in my life. I don't chase anybody to say, hey, love me. I love myself. First and foremost. <laughs> Why settle for a tight squeeze when you can have a perfect fit? Mm. What? Slow motion this side. Mm. So if you just wake up one day and say, oh my gosh, the shoe fits. I don't even have to force it inside. Oh my gosh, they're meant to be in your life. Let's talk about commitment. If they are committed to you like you are committed to them, they're meant to be in your life. But if it's always you doing all the work, turning up on time, they're nowhere to be seen. They're not meant to be in your life. If they keep doing it time and time again, if they're not committed to you, if they're not committed to you, it's not personal. It just means they don't see your worth. A lot of people, a lot of people, deep divers don't even realize They've got a diamond right in front of them. If they don't see that, well, let them collect the stones. <laughs> you know someone's meant to be in your life when they see your true worth, when they value you as a diamond. They're like, hey, I got a diamond. I got to polish it. I got to spend time with it. I got to admire it. I got to praise it because it's so sparkling, so beautiful. Woo! There isn't a, a stone like it. It's exceptional. They're proud, but they're sure of you. That's how to know someone's meant to be in your life. If they are sure of you. If they're like, oh, I don't know, you know, well, I couldn't think. I they ain't got to go home, but they got to get the hell out of here. You want to be with someone who's sure of you. They know you. They can feel you. They can feel 
Hell you deep divers from like a mile away. They know who you are. You don't have to explain yourself to them every single second because they can feel your essence. Oh, that's so poetical. Deep divers. <laughs> I want to remind you of this. I knew someone was meant to be in my life and people are meant to be in my life through reciprocity. Okay. Everything is balanced. What you do for them, they automatically want to do for you too. It's just natural. You ride for them, they ride for you the same way. They're there with you in the gym. They're there with you when you pick up the trophy, deep divers. That's how to know someone's meant to be in your life. They don't care how famous you get. They don't care how much money you have. Because in their eyes, they love you for everything the world cannot see. Mm. What? Slow motion this side. Mm. They hold you down when you are down and out, when the world turned the back on you, when the world turned their backs on you. They were the only one there supporting you. They were the only one there in your corner. That's the one you keep hold of, deep divers. That's how to know someone's meant to be in your life. They're there for you when no one else is. They help you love yourself. They bring out the best in you, not the worst in you. As soon as you wake up, you don't have to argue with them because your relationship is built on respect, trust, honesty. Both of you are mature enough to say, hey, if it's not working, we can let go. There's no force. I accept you. You accept me. This is how to know someone's meant to be in your life. There's more flow than force. There's only flow. This is Sexology Deep Divers, Water, Fire, Hot, Cold, Yin, Yang, Daddy's Home, I'm back. They say that, Deep Divers, I'm back. <laughs> They're always back. They have your back. They're always around. Even if they're not there in your physical presence, they've got your back. And no matter how far you get pulled apart, something just pulls you back together. That's how to know someone's meant to be in your life. You can't stop thinking of them. You can't imagine yourself with someone else because nobody can fill their shoes. What? Stop it, Ralph. It's too early for this. But if you're with someone and you can't wait till they disappear, you're like, oh, I can breathe again. I can relax. Gosh, they're a pain in the ass. They're not meant to be in your life. Many people, deep divers, are in relationships of convenience. Maybe you have children together, but you know the love is gone. Why? Because your heart left that relationship a long time ago. Your heart left that relationship a long time ago. Your wallet is there, but your heart is not. You know someone's meant to be in your life when the heart is always there. It's always there. And that's why both of you, both of you just say, feel so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello there? Seven day vegan challenge. Someone's meant to be in your life when the food aligns. Both of you share from the same plate. Your diet aligns. You're eating to live. They're also eating to live. They respect their body. You also respect your body. They encourage you to eat better. They are your upgrade. However, if you are with someone and all of a sudden you start, you're starting to eat bad, they are your downgrade. And know that it's only going to get worse for you. So always realize when the relationship is energy generating, they're meant to be in your life. When it's energy depleting, to the extent it's not fun anymore, you got to lie, you got to do this, you got to do that because you can't be yourself. Save the hassle for you and them and leave. 
relationships are about honesty, commitment, communication, most of all, being in your heart space. Deep divers, I love all of you. Shout out to everybody who has gotten <laughs> the wonderful Good Ass Prana shirts at ralphsmart.com slash clothes and spreadshirt.com. If you're a sexy ass model, woo, with a whole lot of heart, who wants to model the clothing, let me know. Got a question for me, deep divers, you want featured on Infinite Waters? Add me on the verified Instagram page at official Ralph Smart and Facebook at Ralph Smart. Check out the new book. Deep divers for more relationship advice like this. Feel Alive by Ralph Smart on Amazon. Deep divers, may the one you are searching for, may you find that one within you. Have a beautiful day. Peace. Infinite waters, diving deep once again. Stay well, stay healthy. Peace. You! So do you know if they're meant to be in your life? No? Yes? No? Yes. Okay, one day you're going to wake up and you're going to be sure of this person. Just, just give it some time. Give it some time. Give it some time. Let it breathe. Let it breathe. Give it some time. Okay. Have a beautiful day. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.